Hello, welcome back to art class. Uh, today we are going to be starting a new project. Uh, you're going to need a few materials. You need a, a piece of paper, uh, you're going to need a pair of scissors, and you're going to need uh, crayons for this to, uh, part. Realistically, we're going to need to do half piece of paper. What we're going to be doing is we're going to be making our own version of scratch art. Um, scratch art is usually a layer of colors uh, put over with a material that is usually black so you can scratch in your picture. I'll uh, give you an example of one that I've already kind of finished. This is a half sheet of one where you can kind of see it and this is like a homemade version of it. So this is what we're going to be working on today. Okay. Our focus today is actually get the scratch art uh, paper ready and then next week we'll worry about creating our design on it. You can do a full sheet of paper if you would like, but it does take a little while to do, okay? because there's a lot of coloring involved. And that's why I'm gonna recommend that we do this. We do a half sheet of paper. So you're gonna fold your piece of paper in half, the book way, sometimes called the hamburger way. Okay, get a nice, good seam on that, or, uh, okay. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut right on that line. Like so. You can set this one off to the side. We actually may need this next week, depending on how things go. So you may want to just hold on to this piece of paper. And we're gonna focus on our piece of paper here. You're gonna need your crayons. Uh, you're gonna need a few specific things. Um, my crayon is broken, so I'll set that off to the side. Uh, you're gonna want bright colors for this. So any bright colors. So pick about six bright colors. So I'm gonna grab this green. I'm gonna do this. See, that's a brighter blue. I'm gonna do pink. Five colors to start off with. You can always add more as you go. And all we're doing is we're gonna be coloring in patches of color. So I'm gonna go in and I'm going to color this whole piece of paper in patches. The darker you do, the better off you are. So that's the part that can take a while, is if you're used to coloring really lightly, you're gonna to have to press a bit harder than normal. And then you just do another patch of color. There's no actual picture to this, and we don't want a picture to this. We want the colors to be kind of random. Okay, so I have my kind of my patchwork of colors here. Okay. Uh, try not to leave any big white spaces. Uh, go back and get some touch-ups like here. I could probably use a little blue to touch up some spots here. We want to avoid white spaces. And if you have like some areas that are a little light, you may want to go back and touch those up as well. The darker your colors are, the better. Okay, once you have this sheet done, this is the part where you may need some help, uh, maybe with mom and dad helping out on this one. I would like you to give it a try first. Uh, but what you're going to do is I'm going to use black. Then you really do have to do this with black to make this work. Is you're going to go in and you're going to color over the whole thing with black. I know that seems really weird. That's not something we normally do, but that's one of the reasons why we're doing this because it's something different. Okay? And you're going to go in, take your time. Try to go all the same direction with your coloring marks. So that's gonna be the part that takes the most. And you're gonna go in and color over everything. Now it's not gonna completely turn your paper black because we're using crayon on crayon. Uh, other times you could be using a paint to do this. So like um, an acrylic paint or um, a tempera paint could cover this up a little bit better. Um, one of the problems is because uh, we're using crayon, uh, those paints don't always like to stick to crayon because wax and paint don't always mix real well. So we're gonna do this with crayon. Plus, everybody has crayons at home, so that'll make it a little bit easier for everybody to do this project. I know you'll be able to see through some of the color, but that's okay. We're just gonna make it as dark as we can with the black that we have. So you make it as dark as you can. 
Carefully, you don't rip the paper. Okay, so I've taken the time to go in and make sure I've pretty well coated this in black. This is about as dark as I can get it uh, with the crayon I have. As you can see, my crayons are a little broken, and yours might be too after pressing so hard on this. Uh, you need to have a nice black layer as best you can with that. Uh, and that's where we're going to leave it for today, is to get it to this level. If you wanted to do a full sheet of paper, you are more than welcome to do a full sheet of paper. It just takes a while to do that, and I know some people uh, with coloring so hard can get a little hand cramp. So uh, you're totally fine with just a half sheet of paper. If you would, once you're done, upload a uh, picture of this to uh, Seesaw, and I will see you next week to finish this up.